Yes, on air now. It's been a hot issue over the last couple of days. Shootings happening in Milwaukee, one after the other. Governor Walker is backing legislation that would boost penalties for criminals who use guns to commit a crime. We're joined by Don Walker from the Journal Sentinel on this one. Don, it sounds like most politicians are on board here. You've got the chief of police, you've got the mayor, and, and now the governor, essentially. Yeah, everybody seems to be in agreement. Uh, Mayor Barrett and Chief Flynn spoke two days ago about this issue and then reiterated those thoughts today. And merely hours later, Governor Walker uh, certainly seemed to agree that it was time for a three-year uh, minimum prison term, mandatory prison term for illegal possession of a firearm. Um, there's a bill being drafted as we speak. We all got this email from uh, Alderman Donovan this morning. He raised an issue we were talking about here yesterday. There is already a federal ma mandatory minimum if you're a felon in possession of a firearm. Why is the state needed on top of the federal? Uh, to be honest with you, I'm not entirely clear on that myself. Uh, certainly District Attorney John Chisholm uh, is committed to uh, fulfilling the state charges, but mm -hmm. I guess they feel that if they get a state law on the books, this is something that will have some teeth to it and put people in prison for breaking that law. Uh, today the mayor and chief of police talked about plea deals. Uh, everything comes in, you know, you might, instead of being charged with a felony, you're charged with a misdemeanor. These people can legally get guns. Does that seem where one of the big loopholes is in this? Yeah, that's something that's going to be discussed. Governor Walker didn't necessarily commit to changes in that particular law, but um, it, it is true that uh, plenty of people are able to uh, plead down a case, a firearms case, from a felony to a misdemeanor, and that, of course, upsets many people. I suspect the district attorney might reply by saying, well, that's the price of playing poker. That's how the legal system works. Mm -hmm. And uh, perhaps there will be changes. Governor Walker said he was certainly open to that. Don Walker at the newsroom on State Street today. Thanks for joining us. Sure. You can read more about it, jsonline.com. We have a link on our website as well, tmj4.com.